Tired of choosing between AI speed and creative control? We fix that. Give yourself AI superpowers, but keep control with visual Ooh, edits. That's amazing. Just add or change Look at text. That. Change text size and color. This is game changing. Change or remove objects instantly. Create the code and then visually edit it. That's awesome Do marketing Do things the too. new way. Okay, so here I am at Lovable and I'm going to go in and just put a prompt in here to create a simple landing page to capture subscriptions for a newsletter on building apps using AI. And then Lovable is going to go out and do what it does. It's going to take my prompt and then begin to ingest that and then give me back some information about how it's going to design this. And you can see it's showing design inspiration, features for V1. It's also creating all of the code necessary over here on the right hand side. And within a matter of about two minutes, my landing page looks like it's coming up. And that doesn't look too bad for a first stab. But let's say, for example, we want to change some things about the way this looks. This is where this new feature comes in handy. So this subscribe button, I don't really like the purple. So I'm going to click edit where it used to say select. And now I can basically come in and just single select a particular element on the page. And then it brings up properties for that element that I can then go in and make changes to. So for example, let's say I want to come in and change the background color of this button to something different. I tend to like darker blues and, and darker grays and blacks. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to a darker blue shade, for example. The other things that you can change about something like this as well would be the CSS class. And you can also come in and change things like the padding. So you can do the horizontal padding or the vertical padding. So you can ba basically just click in that box and then move your mouse to the left or the right. And you can see it affecting the button in real time. Then when you like what you have, you just simply click save and then Lovable will commit that code change to the necessary component and you're not really using a lot of your credits at this point. I don't actually know how they're doing this, but typically when you would make edits like this, you'd have to use a lot of your tokens or messages to do something like this. Now let's say I want to change that build better apps with AI. Again, I'm going to select edit and then it's going to bring up properties for this. And you can see that I can control the font size here. So I can pick different sizes. I can also come into this content box and let's say I want to change the title master AI powered development. So I'll click save here. That change has been made and committed. I'm going to go ahead and click edit again. And this time what I want to do is I actually want to change the background color of the site itself. So I'm going to select that div and I'm going to come underneath background and pick a background that I like better. That doesn't look that great. That's a little too dark. So I think I'll go with something kind of in the middle here. So I like the way that looks, so I'll just click save. That code change has been made. Now I need to get rid of this purple text for this little badge up at the top here. So I'm going to change that very easily just by picking a different color. And again, I'll go ahead and click save. And that change has been made as well. So just like that, you're able to come in, spin up something like a landing page, and then visually come in and edit the content. This is Rossi Bites.